Open your Bible to 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Um, and can somebody read that out to us very loudly if you can? Hallelujah. Anybody have a different translation? If you have a different translation to that wonderful translation, read it out loud. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Can somebody read Revelations chapter 1 and verse 6? And somebody else read Revelations 5 and 10. Revelations 1 and 6 and Revelations 5 and 10. And he made us to be a kingdom. He made us to be a kingdom. To be priests unto his God and Father. A kingdom of priests and kings. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, one of the um, advantages of not growing up in a denomination, as I did, I grew up as a Muslim. So when I met Jesus, I read my Bible before any church got to me. So Jesus got to me before his wife did. What I mean by that is the church. Are you with me? So I read my Bible from Revelation, to, from Genesis to Revelation, and I discovered that God does what he says and means what he says. So I began to pray for people, lay hands on people, people who are being saved or healed, long before anybody said to me, you're not a pastor. You don't have a right to do that. Are you with me? Because I read in my Bible that um, if you lay hands on the sick, you will, they will recover. Are you with me? It's in the church where you get this um, extraction of authority and power from believers into a group of elite. We call them the anointed ones. And over a thousand to two thousand years, the church has walked on one leg because the People in the pew feel they don't have the authority and the power to do what those in the pulpit are doing. Do you agree with me? But the Bible is saying that he has made us a kingdom of kings and priests. Does that, can anybody, when you, when you hear the word priest, what do you think of? Can anybody tell me what it means? Any other words for priest? Minister. Minister. Yes? Servant of God. Okay. Intermediary. Spiritual authority. When you hear the word priest, what, do you, what, what comes to mind? Other words that come to your mind? A holy man? Sorry? A reverend, okay? But the Bible says that we are priests, you are priests. Hello? Do you believe that? No, I don't think you do. How many of you have laid hands on anybody or prayed for somebody as a priest in the last one week? laid hands on somebody and prayed for them. Okay. I can see a few hands going up. Okay. Now, if you didn't put up your hand, it means you've, not, you've been unemployed for a week. 
Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious. Um, can you turn to the person you're sitting next to and just in groups of five, I'm going to give you just two or three minutes to do this. I want you to tell that person what you do and how many people you come in contact with Monday through to Saturday outside of church. Oh, go on, just go on. In groups of threes or fours or fives, tell the person next to you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Tell them what you do. 